Matty Cruiser next up. The 30-year-old Ruckman has has been through the wars, really, with his body. We know that. Uh, debuted pretty early in his career and, and played many games as an 18, 19-year-old, I should say. And, and then he went on to, to play. He was a pretty durable guy. Um, and then, obviously, the first knee injury happened. I'll never forget it. And it's just been the story of his career ever since. We haven't been able to get a a full season out of him. I think 2017 was the last time he had a a really good run at it. And um, he had a pretty good year that year. And coincidentally, we had a a pretty pretty good year. I mean, didn't make finals, but uh, there was a bit of an uptick in in performances. But going into season 2020, obviously just at his age, so he'll be 31 in May. And for me, he's he's clearly the best ruckman at the club. We have Mark Pitonet and we have Tom DeConning in the rank coming coming up the ranks. Is Mark Pitonet ready to to play a full season as the number one ruckman? I don't know. I don't think so. Is Tom DeConning ready to play a full season as the number one ruckman? I don't know. I don't think so just yet. Um, I think he's developing well. But the point is, I think Matty Cruiser is still the the most integral part of this ruck division at the club, and. He, everything seems to be on track so far. He's on the training track. You know, I've shown you guys the footage of him doing his own drills on the side um, with the with the with the ruck coaches, and I think it's just more about managing him because we just know what his body's like. We know what the injury history's like. There's no strapping or anything on his legs to suggest that he's injured, but um, it is a very important year for him because I think this is going to be the the final year that we have before someone like a Tom DeConning or a Mark Pitonet really starts pushing up, uh, you know, for that number one ruck spot. He hasn't really been opposed, Matty Cruz. I think I think probably he himself has been his own worst enemy when it comes to, um, you know, challenging for that number one ruck spot. So I would think the conversations that we're having at the end of 2020 are going to be centered around, you know, Tom DeConning, Mark Pitonet pushing up. But I mean, the guy's played 188 games. It would be really, really deserving for him to get to that 200-game mark, knowing what he's been through and, and you know, the setbacks that he's had to overcome. Uh, it, you know, he's one of those players that just galvanizes a group the way he moves. He's such a humble character. I can only imagine what he'd be like on the inside. Um, you know, you have those characters at your footy club that everyone just loves, and I can only imagine he'd be one of those guys. He works hard. He blocks, he shepherds, he does those one percenters, he allows space for his midfielders. He's never really been a dominant ruckman in terms of tapping the ball and getting the hit, you know, the high number of hitouts, but you just we we've all we all just know, I don't need to repeat it, you know, we're just better when he is in the side. Uh, guys like Paddy Dow, Mark Murphy, these smaller uh, type midfielders in terms of height, I find they have so much more space when he's on the field because he just puts his body in between himself and the nearest opposition player. And, and that's what he's done his whole career. And and that's why he's earned the respect that he has from the club. Um, you know, there were times there where he was potentially going to be leaving and, you know, obviously chose to stay. And he's been a very loyal servant of the club. And, you know, we've obviously given him the same uh, loyalty as well. So from, from that point, uh, it's been a pretty good relationship. What do I, what, what am I hoping for in 2020? Uh, I would hope that we get something along the lines of, I mean, any time with, with Matty Cruz, any time he can push for that 17, 18 game mark, I think that's a pretty good result. I think he's at that point in his career now where anything around 17 or 18 games is a tick for us. We know that there is probably going to be a week or two throughout the season where he rests just to be managed. He's probably going to be a bit sore playing in the position that he does warrants quite a lot of physical attention, particularly when you talk about Ruckman putting knees into each other and and the like. I mean, the game is already demanding, physically demanding as it is. You don't need, you know, knees flying into your chest. But yeah, I think 17 or 18 games, and that'll give us the best chance of winning something like 10 or 11 games. I think think when he plays, we were a much better chance of winning a game, particularly knowing who else we have, um, you know, in, in the Ruck stocks. And so that's how I see his year playing out. I don't think he's done by any stretch of the imagination because he's missed time through the injury. So I think the body's actually probably a little bit more fresh than what we think. Um, And hopefully he can continue on for a couple more years yet and get to 33, 34. We'll see how we go. He is a bit of an old man these days. It's crazy to, to, to think because, like I said with Mark Murphy, you know, when these guys were drafted, I was 14, 15, 
uh, and 16 and it's it's just crazy to think that these young boys are now the you know the men the the elder statesmen and the leaders of the club so wishing Cruz all the best and hoping just for health that's really the main priority there for me so what do you think how do you see Matty Cruz's 2020 playing out let me know in the comments below